Hey guys, I'm the Dairy Deputy, and I am- I've already had a few videos on this team, but I thought, I have two more replays, I might as well go over the team with you guys. Maybe I'll even upload this one first, so if that's the case, disregard what I just said about you've already seen, seen videos of this. Anyways, this is, I don't know, pretty standard, I guess, team. Not really that standard, actually. Anyways, we, we start off with Sky Milk, Mega Aerodactyl, Home Claw, Stone Edge, Aqua Tail, Iron Head. Um, strong. It's just really strong. <laughs> then we got Sam Milk, which is um, Lefty's Ice Beam, Earth Power, Substitute, and Roost with 52 EVs in HP because that gives us the nice and strong 100 HP um, substitutes and then 236 in speed so we're fast and a uh, special attack investment yeah um, then we have heavy milk which is overcoat lefties fortress pretty standard I guess fully defensive though with stealth rock spikes gyro ball and rapid spin Basically his job is to keep hazards off my field since, as you can see, I have a few weaknesses to rocks. And then we have stealth rocks and spikes to just stack hazards. I, the whole point of this team is just to force switches and do hazard damage, really. Then we have Tornado Milk with... Sometimes I've ran him with a life orb, sometimes I've ran him without it. Right now... I honestly think I'm going to put a life orb on him. I honestly don't run into many situations where I would have to go for acrobatics. Usually it's just U-turn and superpower in all honesty. So we're going to have a life orb and um, defiant. So if someone tries to defog all our hazards away, then we get the plus two attack and then we just start wrecking face. So max attack uh, and jolly just to outspeed things better things like jolly banded darmanitan or like jolly uh jolly banded victini that sort of stuff though i run i run specs victini in all honesty um then we have banded spirit milk sucker pursuit willow and trick uh as you can see i have no well i just lied to you i have eight attack investments that's really weird to have a choice band on this thing. Yeah, well, it's mainly for nice and powerful suckers and pursuits if I need them. And, um, the ability to trick over a choice item, like into Crocoons and stuff like that, because that's really annoying. And then we have Moon Milk, which is my pretty standard Umbreon, but it. It does the job, and I really needed something to deal with uh, Nidoking, which this thing can take the hits pretty well, so fully special, especially defensive. Um, let's just go to this and show you the replays. There we go. So first I just lead with Heavy Milk as he leads with Espeon. He reflects first turn, but I'm just gonna go straight for the gyro ball. He grass knots me. I guess that's for swamperts, lead swamperts, but uh, does no damage. And I'm just gonna continue going for gyro balls. I get a crit on the dragonfly, which is really good because it's low on HP now. And then he kills me with a crit, so I guess that's revenge. Though I think my fortress is a lot more important since I didn't get any hazards up, and he has a Yan Mega. So I go into Moon Milk because I know I can take any hit, even a Bug Buzz, and I foul play him just because Young Mega's not defensively strong, so I'm sure that would kill even though it doesn't have much attack. He just sacks his Espeon though, and he goes into his Mega Aerodactyl. I switch into Spirit Milk, and I go for a nice and banded Will-O-Wisp. And now that he is burned, I know he can't really touch Umbreon. So I'm gonna go in back into Moon Milk. And he's gonna home claws again, but since he's burned, he is at a neutral attack, and an EQ really didn't hurt the hurt that much. But since my foul play takes into consideration his uh, plus attack stat, but not his burn, I hit really hard, so I kill him. And then I know I can still take a buzz buzz, a bug buzz, and I'm gonna kill with foul play. Oh wait, I don't because he lives on one HP. 
to now, I just protect to get some lefties back. I, I mean, I don't really know what he would do. He has no further means of setting up, so I don't have a reason to. And then he kills himself with his life orb on Sam Milk. So that's cool. Uh, I roost just for shits and giggles, but I actually live. So that's really cool. I think I roost one more time. Yeah, I do. No, I just killed the crocodile because if it's scarfed, it is the biggest threat to my team. But it is not, so, yeah. And then I just go for an Earth Power on the Sparky. I could have roosted, but. I mean, Sam Milk did his job. And I do end up dying eventually. I am just gonna roost, or I'm gonna protect one more time just to be sure I can live in Aura Sphere, but he actually has the Signal Beam. Which, I mean, same thing. So I'm just gonna wish protect, uh. Yeah. So I'm gonna wish, and he's gonna stockpile, which is pretty annoying. But I'm gonna pass this wish off to Spirit Milk. A crunch will do 15%, so absolutely nothing. And then I'm just gonna trick this thing my band. See? It works out perfectly, because now I can just kill this thing. I am gonna burn it though, so that way it can literally not touch me. And I think I go for a pursuit this turn, but I think no. I just switch into Moon Milk and I start wish and wishing and foul playing and all that good jazz. So I mean I have no reason to do anything here except for uh, wish and foul play, so that's what I do. And he gets a defense drop, but I think I kill next turn anyways. Yeah, I definitely do. So I just wish. He gets a crit, so a crit with a defense drop is apparently only going to do 15% to me. But I can just kill this thing with foul play, so that was a pretty good match. I mean, I still had uh, a full health tornadoes and an Aerodactyl, they never even saw the light of day. But this battle, this one was a bit more hard fought, and I, I might not even have deserved this win, but we'll look at it. I lead with Spirit Milk, he leads with Victini. Uh, whenever I see a Victini, I just assume it leads, and it's either going to. It's going to either V create, which I can live and get off a nice pursuit, or it's going to U turn and I can kill with pursuit. But he's actually a special Victini, so I switch into Moon Milk, and then he's actually a mixed Victini. I'm pretty sure Fusion Bolt's physical, right? And then a crit U-turn's really gonna hurt, but I'm just gonna go for a foul play. Yeah, okay. And now I'm just gonna wish once. No, I switch right out because I don't want this thing to start setting up on me, like curses or anything. So he um, is afraid, I guess, of my heavy milk, but I just go for the gyro ball to break it. And he thunder waves me, so you're one of these guys. So I'm just gonna set up my rocks because they do help a lot this turn. I wanna, I wanna break that um cloister sashed. If it is sashed, I wanna deal damage to these three. So, yeah. But he just defogs me, and I'm just gonna wish protect to get almost all of my HP back. Actually, after lefties, I am never mind because I'm not a fool. And then he's gonna switch out as I also switch out into Sam Milk, and um I go for the sub. And he stockpiles. So I don't know what's up with these people stockpiling everywhere, but sure. Um, I ice beam, and I just start ice beaming this thing because I know he probably can't break my sub. An EQ would, but I don't think he'd have it because it's not really common. Usually, Quagsires are mono attacking um, Scald, at least setup ones non curse setup ones. Don't just don't listen to me. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing in life. Um so um, honestly I'm banking for a freeze. Because that's how I killed another Quagsire. <laughs> and I mean I have Earth Power and I have Ice Beam, so ten percent chance to get a special defense drop. That would also help a lot, but I can I I'm free to just keep going for ice beams and I actually do just go for an earth power just to mix it up a bit and I get a crit so that really works out I can kill it this turn and still be behind my sub so after this he um goes into his cloister and I am not gonna kill with earth power which really shocked me I thought I would but I do not and he's actually white herb so 
Uh, Rock Blast will be able to kill me, but just barely. Like, literally, it, it did just enough to kill me. Actually, no, because it rounded down, so 24. So the way my health was, I would have died no matter what, because I think 24 was man damage. Then I get outplayed here for a bit, but it doesn't matter, because I do have a, a fortress who this cloister cannot touch. So I'm just gonna, he's gonna go for a Rock Blast, which does do some more damage, but um, I'm just gonna kill with a Gyro Ball. And then after this, he's gonna go into his Victini. And I'm gonna stay in, because I thought the switch into Umbreon was super obvious, but whatever, I guess. Um, and then I go into Umbreon, and he just goes for a U-turn, as I just go for a Wish. Now, I pass the Wish over to Spirit Milk as he T-waves me, so I'm back to full health with Spirit Milk, and then he starts trying to para flinch me. I break through, and I choice band him a, a choice band. I trick him a choice band, and then I burn this thing, because I break through once again, and I burn this thing, because now, since it's banded, it can um, not freely roost anymore. But I just go into Moon Milk, I'm taking no damage. I'm just gonna wish protect because No, I don't protect because I know he has nothing to kill me right there. Um at least that's what I think. And then I just foul play. I guess he's baiting me somehow into doing something. I don't I don't have a reason to do anything else. I'm just gonna wish again. And a dazzling gleam won't hurt. I'm an Umbreon. And I'm just gonna go for a foul play and I'm gonna and a focus blast will hurt a bit more, but still, Umbreon. And now I can sack Spiritomb here if I wanted to. I was only keeping him around because um I want because a sucker punch is a guaranteed Oko on an Alakazam. So that's why I was keeping him. But I am just gonna switch into him now just to sack him off. Now, just to sack him off. And now with the speed drops, I will be faster with Mega Aerodactyl. Or a lot faster with Mega Aerodactyl. I was faster before anyways, but I get a free switch. So I'm just going to go straight for the Aqua Tail. And I am just going to kill with Iron Head. And now, I could have gone for Stone Edge. And that would have killed for sure. But I was like... It won't live in Aqua Tail. It lived in Aqua Tail. And I died to a crit fusion bolt. I don't think the crit mattered. Because Aerodactyl is not like bulky in any way. And I kill this thing with Acro because I do still outspeed it. And then he leads off with his Aerodactyl. And I, he misses a Stone Edge. And I superpower him. See, if I was Life Orb here, that would have done a lot more. But, uh, yeah. So I died to a, a Stone Edge. And then I just protect to get as much lefties back as possible. Um, and then he stone edges me, and I kill him with a foul play. So, yeah. the That miss really did matter. But, I won. GG. Stay in school. God bless. Stay dairy.